Welcome to this short introduction to and guided uh, heart practice for difficult times. In this uh, Tibetan tradition, um, kind of first way of working with or training our minds, you might say, is meditation or mindfulness. Um, Just bringing our minds back to our breath or our body, something in the present, just with the understanding that as we stay more present, our minds start to settle and we just naturally start to relax, our minds start to to clear. Sometimes, however, when we sit quietly with ourselves, we just start to meet more, more difficult aspects of our being or feelings. Shame, depression, sadness, anxiety. And then maybe we need something more like uh, things like loving kindness for ourselves, uh, self compassion, self tonglen. These are the ways of just meeting and more, you say, uh, just releasing, calming these more difficult experiences. But sometimes when things are really difficult and overwhelming, uh, even to do that may feel like too much. Um, Times we just feel uh, despair, uh, overwhelm, hopelessness, where we just don't have the energy to do anything than just lie under the duvet or just to sit there. It's really hard. And in this tradition, the understanding is that One of the most powerful ways of transforming the mind, particularly when we're quite lost and and closed in those difficult places, is uh, the power of uh, imagination, visualization and invocation. It's like the power of just opening our heart and calling out or asking for help. When we're going through really really difficult times, The problem is that we just tend to close down. We go into this very tight, closed space within ourselves. And it's almost that in that place, uh, we're not really open to even solutions, to we're not open to hope even. We're just so lost. And this idea of just imagining or visualizing a, a loving presence that has the power to really connect us, to heal us, to bring this sense of opening back into our being and just to fill us with love, kindness, um, all the things that we so desperately need and feel so desperately locked off from in difficult times. Um, So it's actually this power of imagination or imagery that can be the strongest in transforming our feelings and our perception. And the simplest of this is, we call it the heart practice, or the heart practice for difficult times, which I'm now going to uh, guide you in a a short practice of.